Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and oh my god, the Nintendo Switch comes out in a few days. It comes out on Friday the 3rd of March and I'm so excited, so I can't believe like how close we are to actually getting it. But before then, we need to do one final thing. Oh, because I've been doing a bit of a gaming marathon at the moment with the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess and Mario Galaxy and all that sort of stuff just to get prepared for it. And obviously Breath of the Wild is very much the most important thing for me right now from the Switch. I just can't wait to play it. But we have, as you can see, some Amiibo. Oh my god, I've had these for ages and I just haven't unboxed them at all. So I'm absolutely ready to unbox these and oh, I just... Oh, I'm so excited, but yeah, so I've got the Wolf Amiibo, which I mostly want to unbox because I want to use it on Twilight Princess before Breath of the Wild comes out so I can use it and have the Wolf as the buddy in the game, so I thought I'm always going to want to use it, so I may as well open it now while I can before the game comes out, so oh my god, so I may as well just open the entire Legend of Zelda collection of the Amiibo, so let's just jump straight into opening them, and I'm going to open them in the order of the games, starting with the first ever Legend of Zelda 8-bit Link. So let's go. Oh god. This looks so cool as well. Like, it's been so long since I opened any Amiibo as well. Like, oh my god. Here we go. Oh. The main reason why I haven't opened any in a while is because I've run out of space. I really have, like, oh, it's so heavy as well. Like, if you remember the Mario 8-bits as well, like, oh, they're so cool, but... He's got a little 8-bit sword in the background as well. I'll just focus that. Oh, look at that. Oh, they look so cool though. Like, obviously, like, it just looks so fat as well and chunky and like, oh, that's so cool. But this is probably my least favorite out of the collection anyway. Just like, I'm not that bothered about it. But even so, it still looks really cool. So that is the first one. We'll pop that there and move the packaging out of the way. Oh, right, on to probably my favourite from this is, of course, the Ocarina of Time Link. Oh my god, right, let's open this. Here we go. Wow, oh, this one is stunning actually. Look at that Hylian shield at the back as well. Everything about this amiibo. The ocarina look, see if I can get a zoom in on that. Hello! Let's focus that. Ah, oh, look at them eyes! Oh, they are some sassy eyes. Link with his elfish ears and hello! Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, wow. Like, everything about that is perfect. It's very much like from Ocarina Link, which is like the classic Link. The tunic, the boots, the hair, everything. Oh, that is just everything. Love that. Moving on to the Wind Waker, and this is of course Toon Link. He looks very cool, and I do think these look much better than the Smash Brothers series. I think they put a lot more time into it, obviously because it's a Zelda series and there's less characters to do that sort of thing, but... Oh, looks so, like, classic. Oh, that is cool. Wind Waker... Wind Waker's a little bit chunky, but... Oh, and he's got the little... the shield in the back as well. It looks so cool. I love the base as well. Like, oh, it's so nice. But them are some absolute on fleek eyebrows. Look at that. Oh my god. He's got his hand waving up in the air. I think he's like double jointed or just something. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, so cool. And similarly, we have Zelda as well from The Wind Waker. Let's go. Oh no. This one's stuck. Green. Actually, I quite like her hair there as well because I think in the game it's very yellowy green But this actually just looks like decent really nice yellow, which is pretty cool So I'm happy with that and the dress is cool. It's kind of like that candy floss sort of pink, you know, but oh, She's got like that I'm a saucy mix Type face like what the hell, but she is I suppose Tetra in the game is like very oh That's so cool though. Let's move these a little bit along 
But it gets a series in a collection, I think this is pretty cool and I can't wait as well. Obviously we have the Breath of the Wild Amiibo set coming out with the game as well so I can't wait to open them as well. But final one, which actually came out way before the rest of these, the Legend of Zelda series. Obviously with Twilight Princess and I've just not opened it yet but the detail on it looks so cool so let's just open it. Come on. Oh, okay. oh. So this came with the wind uh, with the Twilight Princess HD for the Wii U boxed in together. Whoa, this is really big. It's like one of them big ones like Bowser's quite big. Ganondorf. Oh, Ooh, finally. <laughs> Whoa, that's so big though. Like, ah, oh. Midna looking pretty cool and relaxed on top of Link there. The detail though, like, oh, I can't wait to use this. Like, the trial of like the remain trial or whatever you call it from Twilight Princess is tricky. Imagine doing it with just Wolf Link, so now I get to do that just with the Wolf Link amiibo, and then I get to have him as a partner in Breath of the Wild. That's so cool though. Oh my god, wow. I feel like the, I just want to look at like the DL. Oh, it's so cool. Wow, oh my god. So, pop that there and let's just have a look at the entire collection together. Oh god, it looks. These are some of the best amiibo, especially that Ocarina of Time Link. Like, seriously, I'm so impressed with that and the Wolf Link one as well. Oh my god. Okay, that's not in view. Hello, I'm still here. <laughs> oh god, like, just looking at that, it's just incredible, like... Oh, wow. That classic brown and green as well from, obviously, the first Zelda, and then Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, Zelda, and then Wolf Link with Midna from Twilight Princess, that is so cool, oh my god, I'm so... Oh, they just look so cool. But yeah, I absolutely just love the Amiibo. They are so cool and I'm so glad that they finally did a Zelda series and obviously Breath of the Wild as well. I hope that they do like more Zelda characters at some stage. I'm not too sure. Like, yeah, like just other characters from the other games. Like that would be so cool. But yeah. But thank you guys for watching this video. As always, give it a thumbs up if you like it and let me know in the comments below if you can't wait for Breath of the Wild because I know I can't. Are you going to get it for the Wii U or the Switch or both? What are you preferring? Are you getting the Switch on launch or not? I mean, even if you don't get the Switch, you can get Breath of the Wild for the Wii U. So either way, there's no excuse to not get it and play it. Oh my god, it's going to be so good. Like, oh, I'm absolutely speechless. I'm just so excited. I'm trying not to think about it because I'll just get too excited about it. But I hope you guys all enjoy this video and can't wait for when the game gets released. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you very soon for another video. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Girl, did you see her on the Victoria's Secret runway? Girl, slay. She walked down that runway like she was the boss. Forget Kendall. Move over Gigi Hadid. And make room for Gaga. Speaking of slay, did you guys see Britney's new music video? Oh my god, the one for Slumber Party. It's hot. And then they announced the brand new Super Mario game, which is what we've been waiting for for so long. And it's called Super Mario Odyssey. And it's a sandbox game like 64 and Sunshine. And I mean, I did like the Mario Galaxy games. They were cool and interesting. And the sequel was great as well. But... When we had Super Mario uh, 3D Land and 3D World, it just didn't do it for me as much. Whereas Odyssey looks like it's going to be back to how it was, like with 64 and Sunshine.